morning everyone it's Shay been pretty busy I'm gonna give you a new tour of the garden look at these lilies aren't they gorgeous I planted these two years ago these are those red those things that you're really tall and they have those long red thingies I don't know I'm gonna look them up this year there's the six o'clock these bachelor buttons. The echinaceas haven't um, bloomed yet. These ones are pink. Bachelor buttons. Look at those sunflowers right there. I'm just going to do a full tour. Um, there's Shasta daisies. And then those little things that are coming up down there get really tall. And I can't remember what those are. Those are they're white and purple. This beast of a barrel. You see all those little signs in there? Yeah, well, that's dill, which I have no sign for. And I think that's cilantro. I don't know. Like, that was a herb garden I started, and I packed it in and out, in and out. Look, that dill is getting ready to seed. And I packed it in and out, in and out, in and out. And then I got sick of it after like six or eight months because it was just too big. It was on this wheelie cart thing. And it was just too annoying. So I threw it outside. It's been outside for two years now. <laughs> Look at that mess. It's crazy. And then these are all sunflowers. Because I'm going to put the pool up right here. And so I wanted the shade. So it's getting there. They're, they're almost, oh, it did crest the fence. I've been wondering when that was going to happen. Like, about three days ago, they were way shorter. That's mint. And here are some smaller sunflowers that I planted over here. And this is the very first echinacea bush I ever planted. It's pink. And that's... Uh, asparagus, which I need to cut and move the branch over. And then this sad looking thing is my fig tree that all the leaves fell off on, off of. And now it's coming back. Stupid. This is just a random sunflower. <laughs> that is my pink mom. This year's half the size as it's ever been. I don't understand. So I'm thinking about moving it because it was huge. It was small and then it got huge. Now it's small again. So I don't know what's going on. And that's a, that's my uh, Shasta Daisy. That gets massive and I had to put this barrier up so I can go in and out of my house. That's, I love the way those smell. They're supposed to be pink in there, but for some reason only the white and purple come up. All right, let's move out to here. And so I yanked out this bunch of irises. I'm going to pull out that clump too. Then the, these, those two out. Because I've been moving irises out there to build a 50-foot line of them. I have a different idea. My golf get up. <clears throat> Bam. <laughs> oh, and I'm changing all this too to accommodate my love for golf. I it has turned I'm turn it's gotta turn into this whole golf thingy. I'm doing something different right here. So I want a bench, I want like a park light scene because we play golf a lot every day. So this is gonna be a thing. So I need it to turn into a thing. <laughs> it's got to happen. I'm still not doing nothing with that. This is looking really good. I love this. I have been thinning out the bachelor buttons a little bit. Just because I like those things better. But the bachelor buttons are bringing in the butterflies and the bees. So... 
I'm just going to take a couple chunks from here. When I get, see, I'm only halfway. But I have tons to take from everywhere, so I'm doing that. And then these are, oh, look at that dark red. I keep forgetting what colors these were. I remembered that one, and I remembered that one, but I couldn't remember that one. And I think that one in the middle is like a peach, from what I remember. I don't know. This is only their second year. They've definitely doubled in size. Um, I think I need to build a little bit more shade for them. So when I make a trip to the coast, I'm going to get some more driftwood and like, I don't know, build like a log type of thing. I have this idea and it's really cute in my head, but we'll see how well it works here. And then these, I've been clipping the tops off just before the seeds come out and throwing the seeds over into that bed over there. And then I'm going to, once I clip all the heads off, I'm going to pull all this out. It was, it's a great shield and it worked good for a long time, but I want to plant another lily there and I haven't decided the color, so. I don't know what color echinacea this is. I have a feeling it's pink. I'm hoping that it's the red one. But I haven't seen that red one back. And then I got some new Gerbers. This one's not doing as well as that one just really took. But I'm going to clip that back and then we'll let it go. This is blooming out really nice. That's a white mum next to a beet. I don't know what, what's happening. So, obviously the beet will... I'm going to let it grow. And then, um, I'll pull that out and let that white mum take over there. And then that's the asparagus on its second year. Look at those sunflowers all back there they're doing something got in there because i see one knocked down i don't see any tr any tracks uh, they do not know what's so and then i have a couple more echinacea i think this one's a white one one of them's orange, one of them's white. I don't know what the other color was. I don't remember. And there's just too many videos. I've tried to go back and look, and there's just too many. I can't do it. My plum tree is really starting to get some growth, finally. So I can quit stressing. I got a little bit of growth there. And, like, I don't know. I guess it just had to go through that shock, and... It just took a long time for that shock. So, it's finally kicking in. There's two random sunflowers just growing in with my corn. My corn's doing fantastic. Look at that. I don't know why this one on the end is greener than the other ones. Serenity planted that, and it's like, hmm. She told me it was a marigold. <laughs> I told her, no, that's corn. She's like, it's a marigold. I remember planting the marigold. And I'm like, no, you planted corn. Because we planted, she did it at school and brought it home. So it might just be a different kind. So uh, there's a tomato on the back of my bicycle that I cannot, I can't, I got one tire off of. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And then this is what I've been doing, transplanting all these irises. See, I dug it. We dug it. My son helped me dig a trench. And, okay, you tell me. I told him when he was digging it that he it was uneven. And that he needed to even it up. And then he's like, oh, no, it's, it's straight. <laughs> that is not straight. 
So, as I'm going along, I'm trying to, like, straighten it a little bit and then just fill back in that, the edge that's not, and when, I don't know, like, it's crazy. So, anyway, it's supposed, it's supposed to be a straight, come straight back, and then I'm going to put a fence down the middle of this and put that brown stuff coming all the way down the fence. And I'm going to let the eye, I'm going to do a wall of purple irises and then I'm going to order five of different colors and put them, because it's a four foot, I'll have four feet of the irises can grow in. So I'm going to do like the back line, different colors. So there'll be a purple line in front and then all the different colors in the back. And then on this side of the fence next year is where I'm going to do my zucchini, my squash, um, probably maybe a pumpkin, watermelon, maybe not pumpkin, but zucchini, squash, and a few other things. I'll have 50 feet by 4 foot to be able to do like bigger, bigger stuff. Oh, and when I was digging over here, here, sorry, I should have put my camera on the thing, but I wasn't planning on doing a vlog. I found this cool old lock. I guess it's a turn. Found that when I was digging. It was crazy. And I found like a red marble too. A see-through red marble. It was really weird. All red. And I found a blue one two days before that. Around the same area. It was weird. Found that lock in that same area too. My son says it's like a trailer lock. From like the 70s or 80s maybe. So it's not super old. But I dug the fans out of this bed. The front row and that back corner because I want to give those peonies. I didn't know they were going to grow that well. I honestly didn't think they were going to come back. They were so tiny last year when I got them. It was ridiculous. And they were like in a pot. And then so I just dumped the pot out right there and who knew. So I'm going, going for it right there. And then I'm going to leave those fans for right now. And then next year, see, the best time to plant them is July to transplant. And it's kind of hard to transplant them when they're, like, already big. But I want everything to grow here, and I don't want to mess with these. I might take these two. No, I won't, because I have something growing on the side there. So I'll just leave these to grow. And then I cleaned out the, the two big fans that were in front right here that blocked that Gerber. It was great for protection for a while, but I've got snapdragons that have finally come up. I planted those everywhere, and it only came up right there. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm going to take those fans in the back out, those little tiny ones. I'm going to take all those out. And see how there's like a little tiny short batch right there. <laughs> I'm going to put that right on the other side just because I think it's funny. They'll grow big by next year. You won't even notice it. But I just think it'll be funny for right now because I can step over those, those very easily to get to the other side. And if I do it there and then, you know, I can do it on the other end depending on which way I want to step over. It just makes it a little easier. I'm going to let these go through a shock, and then I'll trim all the floppy stuff. Because, see, the, the floppy stuff right there, that was the fans that were up against the house. Like, those two tall green ones were the ones I just took out of by that Gerber. Those floppy, horrible-looking ones were up against the house. And then... I took those two fans from somewhere else. Oh, from this flower bed. And the little short ones were with that big tall one. And then I took all of those standing tall ones from that corner 
up front. So those ones up against the house weren't doing very good. That's why they're all laid down and floppy like that. And then I this was supposed to be my strawberry. I have one, I have four little strawberries right there. And then this thing grew in here and took over. So I don't know. And these are pumpkins. Look how big those are. So pretty. My wildflower, which they're still sleeping. <laughs> and I'm going to do the bachelor buttons and stuff over here. And then tomato, flowers. Okay, we did this one. This one is the tulip bed, but I have marigolds in it right now. And a... What is that? Peonies. So, and we're starting to get our first. And these marigolds I did not buy. These ones are from last year when I I had planted a bunch and I bought some and I planted them all over my yard. I would go and deadhead them and put them in a container and I dr dried out all their flower tops. And then this year I came and I sprinkled all that dried flower tops just on top of the dirt. I didn't even bury it. And this is what I got. So I'm very, very happy. I'm going to do the same thing this year. Because I spent, I bought ridiculous amounts of marigolds. And then cucumbers and onions. I don't remember what I planted here, but whatever. It'll just keep growing pulled out that those bachelor buttons and see I lay when I pull the bachelor buttons I lay them in this corner and I let their flower the seeds and stuff dry completely out and then I just leave them in that pile and that's how I transfer transplant my bachelor buttons see there's a bunch of flowers already on the ground and I'm gonna have to get in there and yank out all the little heads Oh, we did those. I'm going to pull a clump, this back clump right here out to thin this one more. I kind of like the Johnny Jumpers growing there. So, and it's the fans serve their purpose when I need them to. And I'm going to pull some of out of this front line too. And go. So I have plenty to finish. Um, to go all the way down and I probably still even have extra after that but I want to do this whole line because it's going to give my flower bed my flower garden like a an end point where I'm going to this makeshift square okay I walk around this square like there's a building here because I'm going to move that building right here so I'm trying to learn to walk around this building. So that's why if you see it, I walk around it. That's what my goal is. Although I got to fix that because that's crazy. I mean, it could have a wave. I guess it really doesn't matter. You know, because I'm going to bring next year, I'm going to gravel all this. I'm going to move my building put it here and then I want to gravel I'm gonna do like a little rock round thing out there so that way when the gate opens it hits a wall so it doesn't open all the way and then plant a tree in that corner do my rock wall and then do a rock wall coming up all the way up my irises to this building was the goal and then just gravel all of that it does have some gravel but it sinks and it's just I don't know and I gotta figure out I'm gonna probably have to move the gate up a little bit or dig that down a little bit I don't know but I'm gonna gravel all this Put a fence right there with the brown stuff. So the brown stuff will be on the opposite side of the irises. The irises will be on the side of the driveway. 
and then um, the building will be right here and then I'll I'm debating on whether or not to fence I'm gonna fence it all the way to the built to the house I'm gonna fence is gonna have to come I don't know how I'm gonna do this chunk of stuff yet I only know from there back and all that can be gravel straight out like I'm fine with that because I'm not planting anything over in that area but oh oh I have two carnations that bloomed can you believe it there's a red oh it smells so amazing right here and a pink one these are some of these whatever scattered aslums or whatever. If they die, then I'll let them seed out inside these pots and then they'll regrow. That's how I transplant those ones. They'll grow randomly on my sidewalks and I pluck them out and do that. And then transplant them to wherever. This has got watermelon and Swiss chard. From the Swiss yards from last year, I just let it keep growing. And my onions, my these are big white onions. These are carrots. They're almost ready to drop seeds. And I will collect all the seeds from this bush. Pull it out, clip the leaves, you know, strip all the leaves off of it, and probably use that in a salad. And then Plop that out. I'm getting ready to pull that potato plant out because it looks just about done. This is buttered lettuce. Oh my gosh. And we eat on it like crazy. See? Like we cut, cut out here, cut, cut, cut. And it literally grows back in three or four days. It's crazy. And then those are the carrots that we eat, but they're not ready yet. Here's my peas. Aren't they so cute? I've got, next year, I'll have a big arch I'm going to do for them so I can plant twice as many. There's my lavender. It's finally showing some potential. Finally. It's ridiculous. And this plant right here, I pull these out constantly. It's called a millen, mullen, whatever it is. It's like... You can make cough syrup or you can use it for toilet paper. <laughs> That's what Google told me. You can use it for toilet paper or cough syrup. I'm like, what? Okay. That's crazy. And they grow everywhere here. Like tons of them. And they get as tall as me. They get crazy, crazy. I think there's another one over here. There is. I saw it earlier, right there. That thing. It's called a mullen, mullen, something like that. And you can use it for toilet paper or you can make cough syrup out of it. And I thought, wow, that's crazy. There's <laughs> two purposes for it. But not enough for me to want to keep it, so. Alrighty, well, it's a long video. It's probably going to take me five hours to upload. Even doing short sometimes takes 20, 30 minutes lately. I don't know what's happening. So, oh, and there was a dragonfly, butterfly, and bees. So go over and check out my shorts. And if you get a chance, can you guys share me to your extra social medias? I've been dead in the water lately. I don't know... Um, what's going on with the algorithm, but I'm hardly getting any, um, action and I'm almost to my goal. Remember 750 was my goal and I'm at 731. So if you get a chance, cause we're trying to get to my goal by the end of July. All right. Bye.